way, start peeling our skin off. Must have got wise. They got that whole place locked up tighter than a drum. Told you Carter wouldn't believe that Buffalo story. I think we should go get this quas. It does not make no difference. He's a dead shot. Oh, without cover, he'd cut us down like sheep. That Yaki tribe finds them dead chiefs, we'll have more than Carter to worry about. They'll be swarming all over here. Killing every white man in sight. We'll wait. Sooner or later, he'll leave to check out them buffalo. What makes you so sure? <laughs> He's a hunter, ain't he? Child stirs. We make medicine to the moon spirit, so its coming will be soon. It's too cold for you here. Come inside. Mm -hmm. The moon medicine is not yet strong enough. Right now, the best medicine for you is rest. Now you come inside. Simon, get the others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. Come on. Come on. slips off me knee when she hits the floor it ain't there anymore cause her rosé's a size 43 <coughs> it's Barkley seems to me I've heard that once or twice before Simon somehow the goat got up on the roof last night would you get her she needs milking 
Why don't you let one of them squaws go get it down? I, I ain't too partial to go. I told you, I don't want them to go outside. Those men might be watching. All right, all right. I'll see you to it as soon as I finish shaving. Whew. They're beating them Indian tom tom guns, sneaking up behind you, dump them in, drive them right back to drinking. I... <laughs> Ha, ha! I can hear you I can't see you. Hey, now! Oh, there you are. Huh? I'm the name of John Nation you get up there. Oh, you... Oh, what do you think you are, anyway? Mountain goat or something? You got no business being up there. On the roof? Come on, you come on down here with Uncle Simon. Yes. Now, don't you be a nanny, nanny. <laughs> You're comical, huh? Come on along now, Uncle Simon, you hear me? Get your nice, fresh tin can of oh! Oh, 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 my head. He ain't getting back. Oh, this is the... The end! I can, the goat to be bounded at somebody's fire play! <laughs> you. Uh, really? In the morning. Uh, Simon? Uh, Theotaki says you fell off the roof. Honorary Billy got tried to butt me up. <laughs> Blackly! I ain't got any pants on. Well, are you all right? Well, I, I could have killed myself if I fell plumb in a cactus bush and them needles. You know, they could poison you to death. Well, did you get all the needles out? Yes, I think so. Well, let me see. Please, Barclay, please. Ain't you got no shame at all? Oh, they haven't even arrived yet. You're drunk, that's all. No, no, I am not drunk at uh, all. What would you call it? Well, I may throw... Ow! Ooh! Be careful, will you? I'd like to split my head clean open. That might... At the moment, yes. A man's got a right to have a few couple of little drinks if he wants. No, you haven't. Not while those girls' lives are in danger. In danger? Ah, we've been fought it up here all night. We haven't even seen a little bitty goddess snake. Them squaws, them's the ones that's dangerous. All right. All right, what'd you expect, huh? Pester me half to death about them Meiji engines, make me lose out on a nice buffalo hunt. Anybody get drunk? Nonsense. You're just using that as an excuse because you want to leave here. You've been doing that all your life. Whenever something comes up you don't want to face, something distasteful, you soak yourself on alcohol. Oh, is that so, huh? Soak myself in alcohol. Well, just let me tell you something. Yeah, and I suppose I was soaked in alcohol last year when you were stumbling around the desert lost and I had to come and find you because you was too bullheaded to take my advice, huh? But let me tell you, at that time, you was kind of distasteful to me. Well, I suppose even Beelzebub had good qualities. Who? Beelzebub who? The devil. 
Oh, look, Miss Barkley, now you got no right to cuss me out. Simon, I know you're brave, Simon, and I'm grateful you saved my life, very grateful. But you had no business getting drunk when those girls' lives depended on you. No business getting drunk when our girls' lives depended on... No business doing that, no business doing this. I suppose I ain't even got any business breathing, huh? Uh, no, the only business I got is to worry about them sneaky Indians and them smelly goats and any other kind of mangy varmints that might come down the, the pike. Well, I tell you, I ain't gonna worry about them because nobody worries about me. That's another one of your excuses. You don't want anybody to worry about you because you don't want to face responsibility. You're too lazy and too selfish. You don't want to give. All you want to do is take. You haven't changed a bit. Are you quite finished? And that's a fine way for you to talk to me. After all I've done to please you. Let me tell you, you pestered me for the last time, Miss Barclay. Yes, you pestered me once too often. Just once too often. Good day to you, Mrs. Victoria Barclay. Bullers is gone for a little clippity clop. I told you not to come outside. We watch for the team. Get in quickly. Get in. I told you he'd ride out. 